The word Al-Majri is a Hausa adaptation from the Arabic word al muhajiru meaning people who migrated from Mecca to Medina in search of the light of Islam and the universal knowledge of the Al-Quran Al-Kareem. This Angaya system of education is an embodiment of learning which teaches the Al-Qur'an. Today, the principle behind this noble cause has been eroded. The concept is given different meanings and albeit understanding by different people. However, the Al-Ummah Development Foundation ADF, has a different view of the Al-Majri and this Angaya system of education. The foundation said, this Angai system of education must return to its days of glory to produce properly educated and productive youths. ADF deemed it imperative that the Almajri be an educated individual who can fend for himself and pursue his education to the fullest without succumbing to daily living challenges. Given these lofty intentions, one would want to know why the Almajri and why this Angaya system of education is targeted. The Almajri child is going to get the very best of Islamic religious knowledge. He's going to also get the advantage of vocational education, Western type of education, at least basic numeracy and literacy. At the end of it all, when a child goes through that grueling educational system, he will come out as an adequately educated individual. These objectives, if achieved, will encourage the re-emergence of productivity and gainfully employable youths. The chairman of al Umma Development Foundation, Dr. Lema Jibril, could not agree less. Alhamdulillah is going to bring a lot better understanding at all levels. There will be no more political strife, no more religious strife, uh, there will be reconciliation and total understanding so that we can concentrate our effort now toward the development of the country as a whole without any ethnic uh, divisions, religious divisions and all that because we are one nation and we ought to be together in all our undertakings. But these differences which are totally unnecessary brings about divergence of opinion and views based on religious creed, based on tribalism, based on ethnicity, and which we want to eliminate in the context of one Nigeria. al Haji Munir Jafaru is a member of the board of directors of the foundation. He reveals how the foundation intends to achieve these lofty goals. We are going to work with the community leaders and the government. And I'm sure there are states that have made laws, especially with regards to this Western education. And towards that, uh, we are going to use, like I said, the AMS, uh, district heads, village heads, community leaders, and manners and individuals and organizations uh, to make sure that we are able to mobilize the populace to accept this system to go hand in hand with the Western education. Because once you are educated Westerly, or once you have Western education, I'm sure that will be able to help you in understanding what the world and even what your religion is all about. In order to give a targeted intervention to the al -Majri, the al Umma Development Foundation, ADF, selected some schools to work with. al Haji Suleiman Ibrahim explains the rationale behind the selection. Actually, you see, when you look at the demography in Kaduna State, you have areas where you have uh, predominantly Muslim and in some areas Christians. 
Now, uh, our selection is informed by areas where you have prevalence of uh, the uh, Al-Majiri phenomena, where you find a lot of them on the streets, like in areas like Tudumwada, in Kabbalah, in Regasa, you find a lot of them. Based on the selection of Sangaya schools and the dire need for intervention in the Sangaya, ADF provided some infrastructure in some schools. Okay, Sangayu the Saka Amfana, the anything I you can the ADF take your Aikata, take it, take Tamasu. The Gatkins Angawi, Muna, the Sangawi, Kamar, Unguani, Wajang, Bakwe, Anangara, Ananchikin Garan Kaduna, Akwe, Kaman Kabala Duki, Akwe, Ayukan, the Muka Aikatam, so Akasa Sangani, the Idu. But Anzo Amosu do 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 when he coy and a quotas Akatapi, Kokuma, Aka and Panidesu. Amos Aiki, Kaman Munjamus Ron Pampu, Munginamusu, toilet water dasana and Panini the pit, Kuma Manabasa Abunchi, a co in the Azimi, Ramadana, the Edena Allah, to Anan Kabalikin, Chang, a quay Ayukan de Muke, a Baranawa, Kakuri. Ungo malam azu regasa tudungwada padarawa dasawaransu. In one of the Sangaya schools visited, the coordinator of the Al Umma Development Foundation, Hajia Zinad Yazid, bears her mind. Zanya chwa muna da haki akampu, kui muna ke kia wanza tu. Masa ye muna musulmai, ku aminta da mu ala asani mundo yuwana abu aka ikhlasi, ni manya da ala. Ba muwana abu da ni manya giruma da ni manya buku da ni manya riba. Idan ka tantance duk wanda suke cikin tafiya mu dai dai gurgudo akwai rufa asiri ba fiye da haka kauna Allah subhanahu wata ala ya samu fitu kuma a kode yaushe muna roƙon Allah subhanahu wata ala ya tsarkake wannan al'amarin yadda duk wani abin da ya kasance haki ne naku to ubangiji Allah ya karfafa mu kada Allah subhanahu wata ala ya sa hakkin ku ya zame fitina a gare mu duk abin da ya zo naku a hannun mu Mansa and Nia, Momina, so at last one or two, I like him a kim, we said the she at the real who I must aim a minor. I've been the Mukasa and Lazis, Eda Murana, Saka Mokosi, Tim and Tambium, to bomb of Patam of Pad at Tarupo, Mushu Ubangiji at the Lilo. Armed with these good intentions, the Al Umma Development Foundation set off with the mission of rescuing the core values and ethics of the Al Majiri in this Angaya system of education. The main thrust being to upgrade these Angaya schools to function in the universality of the Quran and Islamic knowledge. To update the Al-Majri with knowledge and spirit of the Quran and provide them with skills in various traits to free them from the burden of begging for food and the haulage of other people's goods for pittance to keep body and soul. Abana amana bima anzara tawata bana rasulah bakatuna maisha hidin wa makaru wa makarala wala hukeru al-hajirin Weka ala la ya isa inna mitafika wa rabi yuka ilaya wa mudahira ka mina al-lazina kabaru wa jaila al-lazina atabu ka abaka al-lazina kabaru ilaya milikiyama Malam Ahmed Rufai is the head teacher at the Ungwarimi Central Mosque, Sangaya School, Kaduna. I'm in Chewada, I've been there, I'm a Chetoni. The Sioux, one, the Muma, I'm a Chakabam. The Haga was also my mother, the Yay. I can't tell you, I can't come on about the Yay. To say when you do Chi, the Telephamus. To come and think of the Malay, we come out Kadakushiwa. 
this is another Sangaya school located in Kwaru, Kaduna State. Here, the Al Umma Development Foundation (ADF) provided toilet facility to enhance waste disposal for a cleaner and healthier environment. <coughs> Today, the Almajiri in the Sangaya school can adequately answer the call of nature. Confirming the provision of a toilet facility in his school, Mala Muhammad Rabiu said, hey, Alhamdulillah, since I'm going to soak away and buy the shimmy, I'm fine. The bottom of the shi, Alhamdulillah, because this girl got this car, you know, I'm going to come out. I'm fine. Alhamdulillah, in the meantime, we have come across an organization known as Quranic Learners, Quranic Tutors and Learners Foundation. They are those representing the whole and gas system in Nigeria, the teachers, the students, everything. And uh, we have done intense study on their structure and their activities. And we are comfortable, we are confident of what they have. And we feel they are great partners to us in our drive to transform the system. So we have formed a partnership with them. We have agreed to work together to pursue the same goal. That's transforming the Zangaya system. The Quranic Tutors and Learners Foundation, otherwise called Kalga, has been in the forefront of championing the cause of the Sangaya and the Almajiri. The foundation has built a database over time on the eels of Begin and the Almajiri. Karatun al Qurani ana so a ci gaba dan shine rahama al umma a karanta al Qurani amma akwai wasu abubuwa da suka koma kauyanci ko kuma suka koma kaskanci to su ake so a cire to wani hanya za a cire su tunda mutane sun gamsu cewa da wannan yanayi wani ya dauka hausa fulani ne kaman yan kudi yan uwan mu abu kan zama mu wani ya dauka a a addinin mu ne ya koyar wani kuma ya dauka a a mutuwar zuciya ce amma haka yan uwan mu suna kallo manya amma bamu ce ba su wani kokari ba amma suna yin jihadin ne a karkace sai wannan ya ce to mu muna san ai maganin baran nan to ba ta fa hannuwa da karfi duk fahimtar duniya kar kai tunanin da karfi zaka hana ta kai tunanin ka zo mai da hujjar da ta fita sa idan ka raba mai hankali ya tafiya kwanta ya yi tunani lalle ko bai ce ya yadda ba to ka ka rabi a cikin kaifinsa 10 ka zidda tara malam umar modibbo abdul malik is the national secretary of the kalga we have about 13 states presently, just like as I have told you, with our state coordinators. 
and all the Makarantos in each state will have all the data. And the Malams also too. So that will help us. If by the time they request any, way, any area they want us to go, we can tell them the details of this so-so and so-so and so-so place from place to place. This is how it be. And this is how to come about it. And this is how to approach them. And this is how to, if there's any assistance to render to them, this is how it will go. The ADF and Kalga are foundations of like terms. The chairman, Kaduna State Chapter of Kalga, sheds light on how the two work in synergy. Nothing comes easy is an adage that fits into any endeavor. This, the chairman of ADF,